You may have heard of peanut brittle, but what about pumpkin seed brittle? Add some delicious dark chocolate and you have the ultimate fall treat. Hello, my dears. Buttercup the Baking Spaniel here to bring you another delightful fall recipe. This time we aren't exactly baking, but instead making candy. Oh, how fun! Today I will be showing you how to make an amazing pumpkin seed brittle covered in dark chocolate. Goodness gracious! I can't wait to get started on this one. Let's go! Before we start, I want to cover a few important steps on making candy. First off, you will very much want a candy thermometer for this recipe. Temperature control is imperative when making candy. I have this lovely thermometer that can clip onto the side of my saucepan. Very handy! You will also want to make sure you have everything you need before you begin. That includes measuring out all of your ingredients ahead of time and any tools you might need, such as a spatula and a wooden spoon for stirring. In the description below, I've measured out all the ingredient amounts, so be sure to check that out before getting started. Our first step is to line a large baking tray completely with foil. Once lined, spray it well with a non-stick cooking spray. This is where our brittle will go once it's finished heating. So set it aside for now. In a medium saucepan, combine two cups of sugar, one half cup of water, one cup of corn syrup, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir this together well. Now on a medium heat, we will want to bring this mixture to a boil. It's important to avoid stirring during this time, as challenging as that may be. Continue boiling your mixture without stirring until it reaches what we call softball stage. This is about 238 degrees Fahrenheit or 114 degrees Celsius on your candy thermometer. We call it softball because if you were to drop some of your sugar mixture into a bowl of cold water, it would form a ball that is quite soft and pliable. Neat! Now, once we reach this stage, it's time to add in one cup of raw pumpkin seeds. These are also sometimes called pepitas. Once added, we will have to stir this mixture continuously. Continue heating and stirring until the temperature reaches about 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 148 degrees Celsius. This is called the hard crack stage. At this point, we will remove it from the heat. Stir in two tablespoons of butter, one half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and one teaspoon of baking soda. You will see it bubble and foam. That's the baking soda reacting with the acids in the sugar and creating tons of carbon dioxide bubbles. This is what gives brittle its wonderfully airy texture. Quickly pour your mixture onto the baking tray lined with foil. Using a spatula, carefully spread the mixture into a thin layer. It will rapidly begin to harden as it cools. And we've made a beautiful brittle candy. You can absolutely stop here and the end result would be delicious. But I've decided to take this a step further because adding chocolate just makes everything better, doesn't it? Hello all, Lindsay here, the human behind our lovely buttercup. So sorry to interrupt, but I had to share with you all an exciting announcement. 
I've teamed up with the incredible artist Buttered Bee to bring you a super fun line of Bake Me Up Buttercup merchandise. You can see I'm sporting this super snazzy t-shirt right here, but you can also get the design on aprons, stickers, mugs, and more. I will post the link to my Redbubble store in the description below, so be sure to check it out. All right, let's get back to that brittle. To make our chocolate topping, we will begin with one cup of bittersweet chocolate chips that have been chopped finely. We're going to use a double boiler method to slowly melt our chocolate. To do this, take a small saucepan and fill it with about an inch or so of water. In a metal or glass bowl that fits snugly over the saucepan, measure out two-thirds of your chocolate. Make sure that the water in the saucepan is not able to touch the bowl that you have chocolate in. Stirring frequently, allow your chocolate to melt slowly over a low heat. Once the chocolate has almost all melted, remove it from the heat completely and stir until all the chocolate has melted. Next, add in the remaining one-third cup of chocolate, a small amount at a time. Stir until completely melted before adding more chocolate. Once all your chocolate has melted, gently pour it over the cooked brittle and spread it out evenly. And as a finishing touch, I like to sprinkle a small amount of sea salt over the top of the chocolate. Yummy! Allow this to cool completely at room temperature. And now the fun part, breaking up the brittle for serving. You can use any method you please to break up your brittle, but I will show you my favorite. Carefully flip the brittle over so that the chocolate side is down. I have this adorable little mallet, and I'm just going to smash up the brittle until it is in small enough pieces to serve. Goodness me, they do look delicious, don't they? It has that classic brittle taste and crunch with a lovely fall twist in the pumpkin seeds and spiced flavor. And that bold chocolate really brings it all together. Truly a delightful treat. Thank you for joining me on this fun candy making adventure. Be sure to check out my other videos for more sweet recipes. A special shout out to my wonderful Patreon supporters who help me continue bringing everyone tasty content. Until next time, mwah!